All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Russ. I'm uh, Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Priming the Pump Edition. And tonight we are doing a rye, and a very special one at that. So this is Russell's uh, Russell Reserve Single Barrel, and uh, I've had this one before. It was actually gifted to me by Mark, and this is his first opportunity to try it. So I'm curious to get his take. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to try this one. Um, I mean, I've, uh, of course, you know, I, you know, I, you know, when I was thinking of the gift, I'm like, oh, this will be cool. You know, Russell's Reserve. You know, you know, for that. But uh, man, um, I'm hearing just nothing but good things about Russell's Reserve. Yeah, I'm excited to try this one. Now they are from Wild Turkey. Okay. Um, so Russell's actually the last name of, I believe, the head distiller and his son, if I remember correctly. Um, so that's where the name comes from, but again, it is a wild turkey. I uh, want to say it's around 52% ABV, so it should have a nice depth to it and a little bit of a bite, I would imagine. Yep, and I think this one was about $60 out of the bottle. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's uh, see what we've got here. All right, thank you. So nice amber color to it, really nice oils. Yeah, that's uh, that's beautiful. You can definitely tell that you know that is non-chill filtered. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's gonna have it's gonna have amazing uh, uh, palate cling, and it's gonna you know have a lingering finish like yeah. uh, you know typical of some rice. Yeah. Oh wow, beautiful mm. nose, beautiful. absolutely beautiful. So um, I grow a lot of flowers, mm -hmm. and um, one of the flowers I grow is a stargazer lily. And um, smelling this on the initial, it reminds me, you know, of the very subtle scent that a, a stargazer lily will have. Yeah. You know, it's a little, um, a little polleny kind of, you know, subtle smell, not too sweet. Um, you know, maybe a little, you know, um, a little, um, like a, almost like a little decay in it, a little bit. Mm. Um, it's very interesting smell, and I really like it. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm getting that here. It's it's a fantastic one. Mm. Shall we? Yeah, let's. I love the floral nature of this one. So it tastes like that. That flower smells. Mm -hmm. And and then it, it then it jumped into something else. Very uh, very herbal. Yeah, very herbal. A lot of, lot of herbalness in there, and I'm, I'm having a difficult time picking that out. Well, what I love is it's got, you know, with when you drink a rye, there are certain flavors that you expect. And this has all of those, but then it has that floral nature to it on top of all that. But it seems to crank a lot of the other flavors kind of up a little bit. Yeah. You know, we've had some ryes where the, what you look for in a rye, that herbal nature was kind of subdued. This one, it's not. It's right there, and it's just so rich. It really is. And now I'm getting that caramel butter pecan yeah. on the back end up through the sinuses on the exhale. Yeah. No. Fantastic. Mm. But I'm really getting that stargazer lily kind of smell in there. It's really neat. Yeah. I can just say it's floral. I don't know about the stargazer lily, but I love oh. the fact that you, uh, you could pick up on that. But yeah, this is fantastic. Oh, it's yeah. uh, at 52% ABV, you definitely get the alcohol. There's no doubt about that. And you definitely get some nice barrel spice, but that's all offset by the strength of the flavors that you're getting out of it. It's not a one trick pony. It's not one dimensional, very well rounded. I could, placed. yeah, I can spend a, like an evening just trying oh. to figure this one out. Yeah, you're not slamming these. This is one that you're probably gonna wanna sip on for a bit. It's certainly going to hold up to ice. Yeah, it really will. Yeah. A little water in that would probably be really good. Probably unlock some of the flavors. I'm just, I'm just uh, afraid that it would make it spicier. That would be my concern as well. Yeah. I think it might kick up the barrel spice to the point where it becomes kind of lopsided. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I think neat for me on this one. I agree wholeheartedly, and that's generally what I've been doing with it. All right. So, what do you think? Scale of uh, one to five, where are you at? Oh my, um, I'm gonna give this one a four. I'm with you on that. I think I think this. I mean, this is neat. It's complex. Yeah. There's there's a lot going on there. Um, I think if you approach it at different times, you know, you get a little air in the bottle. It's going to change it up a little bit, make it even more complex. 
maybe unlock some other flavors. This one's going to be fun. Oh, absolutely. And I bet if you just let it sit in the glass for a little extra time before going to it, I bet it subdues some of the, uh, the spicier aspects and lets you get to some additional flavors that way, too. Very interesting. Oh, thank you for sharing that one. Oh, thanks for the gift, man. It's been a fantastic one and a favorite of mine. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I hope you have a good time or had a good time. I know we most certainly did. All right. Thank you, everybody. Take care. All right. Bye.